When our 1986 L2020 new liter dry spreader box suffered gearbox trauma, which resulted in more dollars in repairs than the entire spreader is worth, we decided to go ahead and scrap it and start looking for a new cart. And if you guys look back at my video archive, you can see that L2020 in action. The first challenge to cart shopping was finding a cart that's affordable, but works well for all of our applications. We wanted a cart capable of spreading lime and the fertilizer accurately on both products. So that was our first challenge, because there's not very many carts that are rated for lime and fertilizer. There are multiple carts or chassis made when you get into the larger commercial market, but most of those are in the $100,000 range. With the budget in mind of about thirty dollars to 35000 we decided to look around and see what the market offered. Uh, we found that multiple brands, Peckway, Newton Crouch, Chandler, and Stolfus, uh, they all made similar design spreaders uh, that would do lime and fertilizer. The brand on the market, BBI, now made by Salford Company. Every brand has a pro and con, with Stolfus probably being the strongest box made, however, not very good for fertilizer. Same with the Peckway, not very good for fertilizer, primarily a lime spreader. Now, all these carts in this category were what are considered 10-ton carts, which is what this is. And what you guys are looking at here is the BBI Grasshopper. So I'll take you around, show you about the cart, and tell you about its competition. As I said, we wanted a cart that would do lime in the fertilizer, and that's this cart. We wanted a machine that will do fertilizer accurately, as fertilizer is very high priced, so we want incredible accuracy. When we do spread lime, it doesn't have to be quite as accurate, but we also want accuracy there as well, but we don't want a machine that clogs. Finding a machine that fit all these parameters was near impossible until we stumbled upon this, which is the BBI Grasshopper. Now, as you can see here, this is a high lift chassis, and you can see the plates, how the box mounts on the chassis. This box is available on two chassis. It's available on the high lift chassis, and these are 120 inch center to center on the tire or it's available on a standard chassis. This has a side height of nine feet and the standard is eight foot six. There's really not much difference in loadout height. Um, this has the advantage of being able to spread like dry urea in standing corn. We have put the spreader to use already and we've had absolutely wonderful success with it. And it's quite easy to load. With our loaders, we have no problem getting up and over the sides with these. A few chunks does not seem to phase the spreader whatsoever. So we're quite happy with the performance that we're getting already. I'll show you guys some of the features of the spreader. As I just mentioned, the chassis and how they have different chassis available. Again, this is the high lift on 120 inch centers. First thing you're going to notice here in the front, this is a mesh chain machine. Uh, it's a 20 inch wide mesh chain. And that's kind of the secret to this machine for fertilizer accuracy would be mesh chain. Now, when we started looking at dry spreaders, we didn't realize that there was quite so many things made in so many varieties. Uh, they have bar slat chain, narrow bar slat chain, which a bar slat chain is gonna be more like a manure spreader. Um, you have narrower slat, which means there's slats closer together. You have your mesh chains, and you have belt over top of chain, and then straight belt. In my experience, this has been one of the best for fertilizer. I never really thought much of using it on lime, but being that it is 20 inches wide, we have a good contact area. And we have a nice wide door opening. Our L2020 new leader actually had a 24 inch belt, I believe, but with the time the V's came down over the belt, so it would resist off tracking, you only had 16 inches of active belt. Whereas this, you don't have anything over it, so you have a full 20 inch wide chain. So it handles lime uh, very, very well. Also, when you get into spreaders, uh, these are, again, there's a million options and there's a million varieties of them, but my experience has been when you get into a true belt machine, like a 30 some inch wide belt, that's where you get into your new leaders that are going to be in the neighborhood of $100,000. Now here's a view of the inside of the box. Pretty simple, uh, I think this box is 10 feet long, just your chain. They do have an inverted V, but that does uh, pose some, some bridging issues. Uh, there are some people that do use these for chicken manure spreading, and I've heard that the V does help with that. Not sure. They advised me not to have the V, so 
we went with just a standard box. This cart's available in gray, red, or green. The green's similar to more like an Oliver. And yes, I could have waited for a green. The dealer went with gray as a neutral. Problem is, is everything is in short supply due to the factors going on right now in the world. Uh, so if I didn't want to wait an entire year, uh, we just chose to go with gray. Back here in the rear, you have your adjuster. There is a quick uh, V that sits on here that makes it wider. That's when you go to fertilizer. Uh, your, your pans, obviously where you dump is the relationship as to how it spreads. We'll have to show this in a separate video of how you do a pan test and how your rate of spreads are determined. Uh, they drive from the top hydraulically. You have a cast iron gearbox here. Very, very simple. You have two SCVs to run this, but that is an option. Two SCVs and a case train. So here in the front, you have a, a control box and a motor. And up underneath the hitch, there's a computer. This particular machine is ISO bus controlled. And I'll show you guys the controller here in a sec. It does have spinner speed uh, readouts on it, and which is on right here. And that's on our SCV number two, so we can dial it up or down here. Uh, this is extended monitor. You can see, you can hear the tractor pull down when that happened. ISO bus setup, we can control rates on the go, do prescriptions. Very quick and easy to change. There are some other options available on this cart, which would be uh, PTO driving a hydraulic pump or direct PTO shaft to the rear with a contact wheel to run the uh, chain. This was the best uh, configuration that we thought. It does require a pretty good SCV flow, but it eliminates a lot of driveline problems and it's just, it's the best bang for your buck. This cart came from Brothers Equipment in Friend, Nebraska. A wonderful dealer to work with. The salesman came out, not only got the cart set up, he conducted a pan test, explained everything in thorough detail. Just a wonderful dealer to work with. So if you guys are in the market for anything on the dry spreading application, especially BBI, talk to Ray at Brothers Equipment. He's uh, very easy to talk with, very knowledgeable guy. You guys are seeing me apply lime here. Uh, we did take the cart out and run it. This was kind of the maiden voyage. So we were still learning it, but, uh, and it was rough chisel plowed frozen ground, but the, the machine was handling the, the load very well. It was applying it very smooth and evenly. So we're really impressed with it. And again, this machine has fertilizer capability, which the, the primary thing that we wanted this machine to do was spread fertilizer accurately, but also throw lime. And the combination of those two things is pretty rare, especially in the thirty dollars to $35,000 range. Um, now, if you do get into the fifty dollars to $100,000 range, there are more machines on the market. But uh, again, that's just out of our price level. Uh, this box on this thing is a 409 stainless, which is stainless steel, but it is a paintable stainless. Uh, it will not corrode. I will have more video on this spreader as well as why we apply lime and fertilizer and how to read soil samples to determine if you need lime. So stay tuned for those videos and more coming up. And if you're in the market for a good spreader that's capable of lime and fertilizer applications, check out the Salford lineup. Again, this model is called the Grasshopper, and the exact same box on the different chassis is called the Liberty. Check them out, and thanks for watching.